ऑक्सीमन एंड डेस्टल राइट प्रोक्सीमल मीन्स नियर एंड डेस्टल मीन्स अवे और फार यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज फार सो लुक केयरफुली लुक हियर my elbow joint is proximal to my shoulder joint look this is a very less, little distance in between the shoulder and elbow joint but there is a very much distance in between the wrist joint and the shoulder joint so my elbow joint is proximal to my shoulder joint but my wrist joint is distal to my yeah to my shoulder joint right so distal means away proximal means near look carefully look my heart my heart is proximal to my head proximal means near but my cecum but my cecum is distal to my head distal means dur distal means away right so the difference in between the distal and proximal is what look carefully i am holding these markers like this the red marker is proximal to the blue marker but the green marker is distal to blue marker proximal means near red marker is proximal to blue marker but green marker is distal to blue marker so distal means little away right so we really we let these all these terms when we are discussing about the position of different organs right so the heart is proximal to head and the femur is distal to head so distal and proximal clear friends the next term that we use is the superficial and deep right the next important term related to body position the seventh one is superficial and deep what does these means look carefully look carefully my dear friends superficial means okay look carefully this is your skin right and beneath the skin you know that you have connective tissue layer right and beneath that connective tissue layer you have your muscles right this is just an a diagram for understanding not an anatomical diagram and then you have bones also below your muscles look carefully what is this friends this is your skin clear friends so when you are going towards the skin look carefully towards the skin this is called superficial but when you are going away from skin this is called deep right so superficial means towards skin right and deep means away from skin right away means like this you are going away no you means that you are going away from skin but inside the body inside the body please friends know it look carefully if someone is injecting a patient look for example this is a syringe in my hand right and the the doctor says that please give this injection deep right so you have to cross the skin layers and you have to enter the muscle and then you have to inject so you are going away from skin inside the body but if the doctor says that give it superficially so you have to enter a little then you go towards the skin this is called superficial right so if you are going like this this is called superficial and if you are going like this this is called deep so this is your deep and this is super facial i hope you got it i hope it's clear to you guys right so this is superficial and deep now we move further forward 
and the next pair that comes in front is called the palmer and dorsal right friends the eighth one is palmer and dorsal what is mean by palmer and dorsal look carefully friends this is the palmer surface of the hand and this is the dorsal surface of the head so dorsal means the posterior surface of the hand and palmer means the anterior surface of the hand right so palmer means anterior surface of the hand anterior surface of hand and dorsal means posterior surface of hand clear so this was the other pair related to the uh, uh, terms related to body position clear friends the next term that comes is called the epsilateral and contralateral wow number 9 epsi lateral and then there is the contra lateral what does it mean look carefully friends i'm using the help i'm i'm taking help from my friend to show you what does it mean by epsilateral and contralateral look carefully this is the right upper limb and this is the right lower limb so when we say that the right side of the body right the same side of the body this is called epsilateral but if we say the right upper limb and the left lower limb this is called contralateral look carefully if i uh, hold my right hand and my right right upper limb and right lower limb both so this is called epsilateral but if i stand like this the right upper limb and the left lower limb this is called contralateral look carefully friends let me draw it here is a person standing right like this and he put his one foot here and this foot lower limb and this upper limb this is called same side of the body right so this is called epsilateral but if this person stands like this look carefully right look so this is opposite side of the body and he is holding the same side and here the opposite side this is called the same side is called epsilateral the opposite side is called contralateral right so uh, epsilateral means same side of the body epsilateral means same side same side of body and contralateral means opposite side of body clear friends once again i will say uh, that if you raise your right upper limb and right lower limb so this is called epsilateral but if you raise right upper limb and right lower limb this is called contralaterally right i hope it's clear then there is another word the 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 next pair that is called the invagination invagination and evagination clear friends so what is meant by invagination and what is meant by evagination look carefully here is a cell and here is another cell right so in this cell membrane there is a formation of groove so when this goes down to the cell this is called invagination right and when it happens like this 
this is called evagination right so it becomes during endocytosis endocytosis and it becomes certainly during exocytosis right so envagination means inward folding evagination means outward folding right friends okay so let me write here envagination means inward Evagination means outward, right? Okay, so these were some important anatomical terms related to body position. Clear friends? So in the next lecture, I will discuss about the terms related to body movements. Clear friends? If you learned something from this lecture, please dear friends, share these videos with your friends also and do subscriptions. And if you learned, then hit the like button and do comment me also. Thank you so much.